we have determined a base case valuation for all tech chemicals of 55 cents per share. We determine this valuation by completing a detailed cash flow analysis on the company's HPA project. The key assumptions that we explain in further detail include the risk weighting we apply to our base case valuation, operating and capital costs, the HPA price, as well as the production rate. Given the current stage of development, as well as Alltech's HPA project being the first commercial operation to produce HPA directly from Kalen, we have assessed and added an additional risk weight into our valuation. Factors we assessed include financing, construction, as well as operational risk. As each of these factors are achieved and the project is de-risked, we will amend our risk weighting. And with both equity and debt financing expected to be completed during the first half of 2017, it is likely we will amend our risk weighting and valuation in the near term. One of the major advantages of Alltech's HPA project is the low operating costs. As the BFS has assumed costs of just over $9,000 per tonne, making the project one of the lowest cost 4N HPA projects globally. As current HPA production, which is dominated by chemical companies or multinationals, is produced through a highly expensive, multi-stage processing methodology. Whereas Alltech has simplified the process and will source feedstock from their 100% owned Meckering Kalen deposit in Western Australia. But as this will be the first commercial operation to use Kalen as the feedstock to create 4N HPA, we have factored in an additional 10% to our operating and capital cost assumptions in our base case valuation compared to the BFS. However, as there is still a degree of uncertainty regarding these assumptions, we have examined a range of scenarios with both upside and downside potential compared to our base case. And even on the triple downside scenario, which also has the additional risk weighting still applied, there is still significant upside compared to Alltech's current share price. High purity alumina attracts a different price depending on the purity of the product. We note we have been relatively conservative given the 4N HPA price is currently around $30,000 per tonne. And with a potential shortfall in supply, due to the significant increase in demand which is expected over the coming decade, there is a good possibility the market price could increase further in the future. We therefore examined a range of different 4N HPA prices to highlight the effect on our valuation. And we note that for every $1,000 per tonne change in the price, our valuation changes by around four cents per share. Our base case has assumed the same ramp up and long-term production rate as highlighted in the BFS. The ramp up appears to be highly conservative given the company has allowed five years before the target production rate is achieved. But as the margin for purity from smelter grade alumina through to 5N HPA is less than 1%, we have assessed a scenario that assumes that the long-term production target for 4N is not achieved, and instead a combined 3N and 4N product is produced. And even at a 50% split in production, there is still significant long-term upside in our valuation compared to the current share price. 